This is Inside XPeng, a social media magazine to find out the inner workings of XPeng. And I'm Elliot, and I'm your host for today's episode. Back in 2019, when I bought my XPeng G3, there were a lot of questions and a lot of doubts. What would the charging network be like? Will the batteries last a long time? And back then, XPeng was only a startup company with just four years of history. But here we are three years later, and this week I just heard the news that XPeng's accumulative delivery has reached 200,000 smart EVs. So, are those doubts still there? Well, let's find out and go for a drive. So as one of the first customers to XPeng, I did have my concern and I was diving into the world of EVs for the first time. But as soon as I stepped into my G3 and went for a drive, I was hooked. That was it, I was convinced. This was the car for me, this was the brand for me and my family at the time. Charging no problem, got the XPeng network, got plenty of other chargers across China. And in terms of range, I can go a long, long distance with absolutely no problem. There's loads of chargers and this car does it very easily. So after testing many Chinese EVs on the market, I think it's time for an upgrade. So I'm going to head to the flagship XPeng store here in Shanghai, and I'm going to speak to my friend Jerry, and hopefully he can answer some of my questions. Jerry is one of the many sales assistants of XPeng, who witnessed the continued growth of XPeng's delivery numbers, supported by the expanding sales, service and charging network. Jerry told me they're really glad to see that after a few test drives, their customers, some of whom even arrive in supercars, were blown away by the quality of the cars and what smart EVs are capable of doing. The latest smart driver assistance function, City NGP, will hit the road soon. Is it safe? Is it convenient? Will it be accepted by the market? I can't wait to test them by myself. I've driven both the P5 and the P7, and what impresses me most is three things. It's the value, it's the technology, and it's the style. And this is something I hope XPeng can bring more people in the future. So Jerry has given me the XPeng P7, and I have to say, in the time that I last drove it, there's been a lot of innovation and smart technology upgrades, and it's still an amazing place to be. I still remember my first impression of XPeng P7, exactly two years ago, was that the design of the smart cockpit is really well thought out. The interior is well designed, the seats are a joy to sit on. It's a cockpit that's created for people to really enjoy the driving experience, and the time they spend in this space. The P7 brings EVs in China to the next level. And I heard XPeng will roll out two new models based on a new platform next year. However, the industry is catching up too. The competition for the best, the smartest, the most sustainable and stylish EV is really heating up. Company success can be defined in many ways, and for XPeng, a young company, this is just the start. And I think for XPeng, what's contributed to their success is packing in smart technology and innovation into all their cars, just like the P7 here, and bringing a new generation into EVs. <laughs>